I think changing articulation is a great way for the brain and the fingers to understand a passage inside and out. If you have a slurred passage, you'll definitely want to practice the notes with separate bow strokes. This will make it more even in the hand. Here's a bit from Lalo you heard earlier, which has a lot of slurs in it. All right, here's a version with separate bow strokes. Not too fast at first. Or you can do slur two. So right here, it's already tricky for me to do those string crossings, but it's not going to get easier when I slur them all, so I definitely want to do slur two. Clean up as you go. If you find anything that doesn't sound great, go ahead and um, change it and keep working up the speed with the metronome. You can do um, harder things, like slur two, separate two. Uh, let's listen to that. Or if you want to get really crazy, you can do like one plus three, or three plus one. I'm going to leave out the first beat, but you could do something like... If you can do that, and you can work that up to a speed, or actually any of those, really get them to performance tempo, everything else, meaning the original, is going to seem really easy to you. What about passages that are separate in the original? Well, I suggest that you practice those slurred to group things together in the brain. Let's go back to this Lalo example. So that one you might want to practice slur four. Or slur eight, faster. Maybe slur 16. <laughs> it just kind of creates a sense of continuity. This is the equivalent of cross-training on the violin, I think. Always remember to listen carefully and resolve issues as you go. Work up speed in your practice or practice small bits super quick. You'll want to feel at ease in your playing and have a great sound, even if you're just doing a few notes at a time.